Hello, my name is Brittany and I am from JDJ Consulting. Today we are going to discuss preparation for a malignant hypothermia or MH crisis. In a few moments, you're going to see John Karwaski, president and founder of JDJ Consulting, demonstrate the proper mixing of dantrolene sodium. Preparing your staff to effectively manage a malignant hypothermia crisis is paramount in saving lives. Literature indicates a 70% mortality rate when treatment of MH is delayed. However, there is less than a 10% mortality rate when MH is treated immediately and the response is performed correctly. For this reason, performing an annual MH drill is crucial. This allows all staff to adequately practice and feel prepared if an MH occurs. One of the rate limiting steps has been the inefficiency in preparing dantrolene sodium which is the single most important factor in reversing an MH. This video will show the equipment and demonstrate the techniques needed to accelerate the preparation of dantrolene sodium and to also relieve the stress associated with the preparation of this drug. We have a box of dantrolene which I'm going to practice with today. Um, this is on every cart. You may have a different brand. It may be called Ravanto. They're all the same drug. They're all dantrolene sodium. Nice thing recently is these products have been made into a rapid dissolving powder. You can see within the box is a 20 milligram powder that has to be reconstituted with sterile water. I want to show you a technique today. This actually reverses the MH reaction. It works in that skeletal muscle cell to reverse that calcium problem. So the faster we mix this and the faster we administer this, we're hopefully going to reduce the risk of losing this patient. Let me show you a little technique that we've just changed over in the last few months from an IV bag of water, which you have here, to a vial. Uh, we're going to be using a 60 ml syringe, and, and I know on your cart you also have these vented spikes. The first two nurses that arrive, if you start to, if you get your equipment and supplies off to a counter somewhere, this way everybody else can get the things that they need on the cart. You're not going to be tying up the cart trying to mix here and, and having this drawer open if somebody else needs something from underneath. Get your drugs, water, syringes, and spikes over to the side. Very simple process is to um, get your syringe open. And this spike lure locks on to the end of the syringe. What's different than a needle, if you were going to be trying to roll up a lot of water and shoot it into a vial, is it, there's nothing to vent the air out of the vial. So nice thing here is this vent allows you to enter the water. Of course, you'd swab this off. And while the vial is on the counter, the sterile water gets spiked and immediately uh, inverted. And now this 60 ml, which is required, can easily with, be withdrawn. This is and again, while this is on the counter with the vial, you swab it, you spike this, and this is going in without any pressure. No air back up because your vent allows the air out. And I'm, I'm actually able to get the 60 ml of water fully into this vial in uh, under a half a minute probably. If we were using the old uh, product, we would have to be shaking this for three or four minutes because it would be very clumpy. Today, you're going to see a clear solution, which then immediately gets reversed and drawn back up into your syringe. Hand this off to your anesthesiologist that's going to be administering it as an IV push. Okay, get the syringe and spike, start the practice all over again. If two RNs could be assigned to doing this, we're going to really have a quick process, an efficient process, and very less cumbersome than the way we used to worry about mixing this drug. 